Hi guys, today I want to show you how to integrate the Google uh, Place API with our Dynamic uh, 365. So firstly, let's look at how it works, how the Google uh, Place API works uh, in Dynamic 365 form. Okay, for the user, there's a field. Uh, so she or he can input uh, her or his address here. For example, if I choose uh, one address here, you can see First, let's look at the, uh, the columns on the right. So all these columns will be updated based on the selection. So for now, it's, the old value is, is MA state, right? Um, for, for this uh, county. And okay, for now, I will choose New York. So you can see uh, all columns has been, uh, have been updated accordingly, right? And you can see all the uh, address here, list here, uh, the drop-down list, uh, all the addresses uh, are provided by the Google API. Okay, so next, uh, let's uh, let me show you how I did it. Uh, so, first of all, you need to uh, create you need to create a new uh, create your Google Maps uh, or Google Cloud uh, account. So go to Google uh, pla uh, Maps platform and create your own Maps API key. Then you can use the, the, this API key in your web resource uh, for the credential uh, purpose. Actually, there's so many different APIs that Google uh, can provide. So you can see here, but for now, we just use the, the place uh, API. Okay, after you have finished, uh, uh, create creating the uh, the creation of the uh, uh, the Google Place APIs and uh, API and uh, and get and create the keys uh, the map key. Uh, the next is you need to customize your uh, Dynamic 365 form. So in this form, in this form, you need to add you need insert. Uh, insert um, web resource, HTML web resource. So here, um, actually I have created this web resource, uh, HTML web resource already. So yeah, just uh, insert here. So next I will uh, walk you through the uh, uh, the code for, for this uh, HTML web resource. So you can see, um, actually you can you can just reuse my code uh, directly uh, with only, I think, only three places uh, change changes. Okay, you did. Uh, first, thing, let's walk through the code here. Uh, so the header is no special. They just uh, got, got the uh, the source script here. And then we just define the style uh, for the fonts or, or just for for the interface, right? Uh, the style and here the id we just keep you just keep it uh, without any change um but the the changes you, the first change you need to make is replace the key with yours so here with yours and keep the rest part and change then next here the country so country here, you need to uh, to update this countries based on your requirement. For now, I just I just uh, restrict uh, this uh, API to work on the U.S. and Canada only. So you can adjust it or add or replace this uh, with yours. Okay, uh, th this is the second place. Okay, the then okay um the last part you need to change is um in this function this function you know actually uh this function is a callback function for for the google define this event uh the place change that means if you you know make any change in the field you know in the lookup field uh in the lookup address the, the google you know the first the, the, the field we just pre previously used if any changes made, it will call this function to do the uh, 
uh, alter uh, completion here. This this is the, the callback function. Uh, you you just use it. Uh, but the third place you need to change is here. So you can see in this function, I just got all the uh, I got, got the details from the uh, uh, from the response of API, right? This is the component here because place, right? The place uh, I got the uh, response. I got got the uh, the details. I just save it in a local uh, struct uh, struct uh, struct uh, variable. Um, in, in this one. Oh, okay. This uh, so all the details saved in this local object. Um, then I just uh, change or set the value of the fields in the in the of the form. So you can see, I just uh, I just change I just set the uh, the text type the text type fields here. Um, I didn't change I didn't set the, uh, I didn't populate the uh, lookup field because it's uh, if 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 we uh, populate the lookup field we need to know their GUID. But you know in the uh, in in this uh, code I didn't. I, I, it, it, it doesn't know the GUID of the, of the uh, lookup field, uh, you know, the, the record, right? But, you know, techni technically you can do that. You can use the REST API to, to retrieve the, the record, you know. Uh, then use, uh, they use the, the GUID, the GUID, to set up the lookup field here. But I just make it simple. I just uh, update or populate the text type uh, field from the uh, uh, dynamic 365 form uh, directly. You can see I just got the object here. The, the, the details just set the value directly. So all these fields, let me show you uh, where, they, where it is. Actually, you can see the fields here. Um, I have some, I have many, uh, uh, fields on the right so some fields you know the actually uh, the three fields are text type right but this one the state the county and country are lookup field so how to how to uh to do that so i just let me show you um actually i have another field for example, the, con the county, country, and state. I have three text type fields here. I, I hide them. So in that HTML web resource, I just populate all these text type fields. Then I will create another uh, JavaScript. This JavaScript is just work on this form directly. Uh, we not within the web, uh, the HTML web, web web resource. In that JavaScript, I will uh, populate the three uh, pop, uh, lookup fields from there. Okay, later I will show you the code. Okay, so here, so the third place you need to change is change the logical name. Of this text text type uh, fields. The, the last line is you need you know um, if you use the JavaScript to do the uh, the change the, to do the, the field the change, it will not fire the unchanged event. So I need to fire the un event unchanged event to trigger another JavaScript uh, web resource. Okay, this is um, another uh, JavaScript I use in, in that form. So in this JavaScript, um, let's see. So this JavaScript script will be triggered by the uh, the unchange event. The unchange event is is for the three you know the three county, country, and state. The three 
uh, field on change event will will trigger this uh, will trigger this function. Uh, in this function, so you can see, uh, firstly I get the value, the text value, right? And then I just set the lookup. In the set lookup uh, function, I use fetch XML to get the record um, based on the condition, based on the name, you know, field name. Because for now we just on, we just we only know the name. We don't know the GUID. So I just use this use the, the this API to get the ID the GUID. So how do I get the GUID? Then I will set the county. You know, actually the concept county is a little uh, special or complicated because you know um, in the US the county um, the county's name could be duplicated uh, in different uh, states. <laughs> that means in different states there may be uh, many counties they have the same name so so uh, if we just provide the county name that's not enough so that's why I, ch I just create another a dedicated function here uh, just to uh, to populate the county uh, field so I have two conditions here one is name the other is state ID uh, so I think the two conditions can make sure it's uh, uh, it's what we uh, specified okay um, so let's go ahead then we just uh, input the GUID into this uh, function to set to look up uh, to populate the county uh, county uh, field so in this field uh, in this function we have you know actually we have populate the uh, uh, the state Field, uh, field, field already see here yeah we just uh, input you can see the the input parameters the first is the contacts right the second is the the entity or the lookup field that's entity name this field is for the condition you know the condition we we need uh, to retrieve the record based on this uh, field's value uh, the lookup field name is uh, is the logical name of the lookup field in the dynamics uh, form. The value is this field's value. The entity field ID is is the uh, primary key field. So we just you know the the GUID the GUID is saved in this field. So yeah. This is a public use is commonly used uh, function, generic function. So, but you know, as I mentioned, the county is special. So this is based on uh, the lookup. It based on only one condition, just the field name. But for the county, we need more. So I just create a dedicated function for the county here. So you can see the two conditions here. And then retrieve the records. Right, I got. The first one, I think the first one is enough because it should be unique. Um, then get its uh, GUID, uh, GUID. Uh, then just set this lookup. Just remember when you set a lookup uh, field value, you have to specify its ID and entity type. But for the name, it's optional. And okay, uh, I think that's it. Uh, anything missed? Uh, well, I think that that's it. Uh, let's uh, make summarize the first one. Uh, so there's several steps you you, you need to make uh, to realize this integration. The first is uh, just register the Google API, right? Then Google address API, and then just uh, create the two web resource. This web resource is HTML web resource. You just insert it into the form. 
in in this uh, in this HTML code, you, there's three uh, three places you need to update. The first is the key, right? The second is uh, the country. The third is the uh, field, the attribute or the, the field's logical name you need to populate. So, and in in other in the other JavaScript code, okay. Uh, let me show you where where it is triggered. So let's go to the form property here. So for example, we just go to the state. You can see state on change. It will trigger. It will trigger this. Uh, uh, this uh, JavaScript. The function is populate VUCA fields. So that's it. This, this is the function we will trigger. It's a start uh, point. You, you, okay, uh, in this code, I think if you want to make change, you, you just change, you can just change the uh, uh, logical name here. I think you, you, you just need to change the logical name. Um, no other, no other uh, places you need to change. Just change the, uh, the, the logical name. You can just reuse this code easily. So that's it. Uh, hopefully, uh, my sharing today could be useful for you. Okay, thank you.